Hey everyone and welcome to Teaching with Sierra. Today's video I thought we would talk a little bit about math strategies. I'm going to share with you guys my favorite math strategies because I feel like is it just me or is teaching your students how to add and subtract really really hard too? Just wondering. But I try to make sure that I find concrete ways um, to help the concept stick and like of course, one strategy never works for every single student in the classroom. We all know that. Um, so, you know, we would introduce like any strategy throughout the year. And I found myself always drawing the, the new strategy up on the board during um, our mini lesson. So I thought that it would be helpful to turn these um, those drawings into posters so that we can hang them up in our room. So I would like to share the different math strategies with you all in this video. So the first way is, um, of course, to use your fingers. So if you're doing a math question, question such as five plus one, um, you can always use your fingers. That's a really great strategy, uh, especially for those lower grades. The next strategy is to use a 10 frame. Not only are you using a 10 10 frame to um, add in the dots of like six plus two you're adding in six blue dots and then two green dots in order to get your answer another great way is to draw a picture I know that like in older grades they like to draw pictures um, to figure out which problem it is that they're talking about so just drawing a picture of like three plus two where you could do three balls plus two cats or you could do all the same pictures it doesn't matter um, you can also use manipulatives manipulatives are great to incorporate in the classroom um, because you can use like four yellow um, little like bus tools or whatever and then you could do like a purple one it also helps um, in situations like that also um, sometimes in lower grades there is a, a name template that's printed along with like um, an alphabet strip and a number line you can use a number line to help you because the kids could easily see that six take away three equals three by using their numbers to get backwards to where they need to get to. Um, you can also do the method of cross out. Cross out is if you have seven take away four, you have seven stars, take four of those away by crossing them out. That's going to help you to see what's left over to get the answer. Um, another great way is to write an equation. So if there's a math problem, uh, such as a great example would be Jenny went down three stairs and came back up to you know how many whatever or you could also say jenny started going up three stairs and went up two more how many did she go up and go from there another great one is to do use cubes using um, the unifix cubes or the pattern blocks cubes are great as well to figure out how to accommodate math um, so it's a great strategy because if you have five cubes and you take three away not only are you using the cross out strategy but you're also um, putting them all together and then taking three away telling you how many there is left and of course the last strategy that I can share with you guys is counting back if you guys are doing a math problem that is like five minus three you can count backwards five four three and then there is your amount right here left or you can do it the other way you have five and you're taking three away four three two so that tells you how many you have left so it's just a great way to incorporate the um math strategies into your classroom you also can print these off and make these into posters my students were able to reference the posters as they worked on adding or subtracting during centers and they even found that um that i could print these to a page and make like little tiny posters and they could keep them at their desk or to use at home so there are lots of posters out there that you guys can look and get for math strategies, addition and subtraction. Um, definitely go and look on Teachers Pay Teachers and Google.com. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you all have enjoyed. If you have, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button down below.